guys, good morning. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today is another A Day in the Life video, and it is a Sunday, which means, um, for those of you who didn't know, I actually went back to work two days ago. So I am finally working again after being in the hospital and being on medical leave for two weeks. And um, so, yeah. I'm on a late start filming today. We've been up for a while. It's actually 9.35 in the morning. Um, I just gave Kira um, like a bunch of watermelon to snack on and I'm about to give Ari a bottle and then I'm going to change their diapers. And uh, Kira's sitting in her little chair. Hi baby. Can you say hi? And we are watching uh, Rio. And then today I have plans to uh, film probably two featured Fridays. One of them is a giveaway. Ari is very excited for her bottle. You want your bottle? My little chunky. Chunky, 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 chunk. Hi. Ooh. Alright guys, I am going to go ahead and take care of that and then I'm going to wash some dishes. Uh, hopefully we'll see if Kira actually lets me. It is definitely going to be um, like an energy drink day for me. But last night I did buy myself a Mountain Dew Kickstarter. <laughs> wow. Um, so hopefully that wakes me up just a little bit because I am just a little bit groggy. Because I'm having a really hard time sleeping. But, <laughs> all right, I'll check out with you guys uh, after I do some stuff. All right, so it's like 10, 15 or something like that. And uh, I haven't cleaned anything yet. I mostly spent some, oh my God, your hands are cold. <laughs> Kira just ate a bunch of watermelon and her hands are freezing. And I'm not exactly wearing pants, so sorry if that's TMI, but <laughs> she just touched my thigh with her ice-cold baby hands. What in the world? How is it possible that her hands got like sub-zero temperatures? <laughs> they are so cold. You don't need to turn that on right now, babe, because daddy is sleeping in the room next door. Um, yesterday I started going through our baby clothes inventory because I have way too much stuff. I am working diligently to purge um, some of the baby stuff that I have. Well now they're pretty much in the same size. So the last time I like hung clothes in my life. She's learned how to turn on the buttons for all of the electronic toys, so I think that um, batteries will be disappearing soon. Anyways, I hope you guys can still hear me over this horrible, horrible bouncy dinosaur toy. Does anybody else have this thing? I mean, she loves it, but that thing is so freaking annoying. <laughs> and then I have like stacks of overflow of clothes in my office and in laundry baskets and in the closet in our bedroom. <laughs> and just, I'm serious, like hundreds of pieces of clothing. We didn't buy like any of these clothes. Um, and, uh,. Sorry, I can't handle that. It's driving me crazy. Um, so, I had all of these clothes to get rid of. So then I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to start going through stuff. And I'm like, well, obviously, Ari doesn't fit in zero to three months anymore. Or six months. Uh, or even most nine months stuff. So, it was really... I mean, I had mixed emotions. I was really happy to be able to start like putting stuff in boxes. But I was so heartbroken 
that there was some, like, I was really excited to do Ari's, like, month monthly pictures, like her three month pictures, or four month pictures, or five month pictures, and having her in the same outfit um, that I did with Kira to do like comparison pictures, there's no way in hell that I could do that now because she is already wearing, Kira was failure to thrive, so she did not start wearing, um, like she is 17 months old and she fits in 12 month clothes. Ari is not even four months old and she fits into 12 month clothes. So, I don't know, this is completely foreign to me. Um, I have decided that I really do want to make um, a keepsake blanket for both of the girls using, oh my gosh, this toy is broken or something. I hate this thing. It's this thing by the way and normally it would totally be cool but I think the battery's dying on it so it like just keeps doing the intro it's learning time doo -doo. it's learning time dude it's learning time <sighs> and then you don't learn anything <laughs> so this is way too long um, but anyways, I want to make both of the girls like a little keepsake blanket, so I want to like cut different shapes of fabric out of like some of my favorite onesies and jammies and receiving blankets and stuff that they use that I have pictures of them using and stuff like that and then I'll eventually make them a quilt um, each so that they have something like that. And I don't know, they probably won't care about it, at least not at this age. Ooh, can you see me? I have a good enough angle, you can't really see my butt in that mirror. <laughs> um, but I think that when they are older, it's something that they'll appreciate, that they might really like, so. All right, well, I am going to prevent Kira from destroying this paper book. And yeah. Woo! Get it, girl! Up your feet! So Ari is pretty much in that stage where she is like she wants to sit or stand or bust like she does not want to be laying down at all on her tummy on her back she just wants to be up and looking around and even if I put her on her back she like starts doing sit-ups because she wants to try to sit up so bad so her head is like on her chin and she's just trying so hard so she is so excited about sitting up right now. Huh, Aries? My little chunky monkeys. And we can't wait till we can put the jumper together so that she has something to have fun with, but she's still a little bit too little for that. And she's got, I don't know if you guys can see. Doctor was saying that she's got like a pretty bad I mean, maybe it's doing better. They said she's got a pretty bad flat spot. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. So for like the last six weeks, we've only been letting her sleep on her tummy. And I think it's getting better, but I don't know. They keep like saying, you don't want her in a helmet. And I don't, not because, I mean, I have no problem with helmets, except for the fact that they are ridiculously expensive, and I just don't really have... I will, of course, do whatever is needed, but if I don't have to spend, like, that ridiculous amount of money for the helmet, then I would prefer not to. So I'm just trying to, like, rotate her as much as I can prevent her from getting more of a flat spot. Like, the top is evened out. It used to be pretty uneven up here like it used to be higher on one side than the other and that is rounding out nicely so yeah 
It's my Ari. Hello, big baby. Hello. Hello, say I'm so full. I am so full of milks. And I'm so drooly. I'm a drooly baby compared to my sister. I'm a very drooly baby. Yes. Yes. You know, she seems to really, really like birds. I bet. I bet Kira would enjoy. I've never even thought about taking her to PetSmart. I really should do that because I used to have people who would come all the time just to um, like socialize their kids with other animals like so that they could look at all of the exotic animals. Exotic meaning like the reptiles and the fish and birds and the rats and mice and stuff like that as well as the dogs and cats. And today is Sunday, which means that it's the Adopt-a-thon day. Um, they do adoptions at PetSmarts every Saturday and Sunday usually. I bet you she would have so much fun if I just took her to PetSmart and let her just look at the animals. Maybe we'll do that today, because I know that Daddy, um, my husband wants to go he wants to go to Chipotle today, and I think there's a PetSmart or Petco right there. Anyways, to be continued, we'll figure that out, but I think that would be really fun. I think she would have a blast with that, so we'll see. So Kira is sitting on her little potty. She's not potty trained by any means yet, but we got this little potty for her, and we praise her every time she comes to Sit down on it. Good girl. Is it your potty chair? Yay! Good girl. Yeah, there's nothing in there because you have a diaper on. Good girl. You gotta get comfy. Is that better? You're gonna shut yourself in there. All right guys, so it is, it is about noon at this point and Ari is, I know yeah, Ari is napping as you can see. And I've gotten a little bit of cleaning done, but now that she's not fussing, I can really start to get some stuff done. I chugged that energy drink, you guys. So hopefully it kicks in here soon. Um, Kira is acting like she is. She's getting to that goofy face. I think she's about ready for nap time. Is it almost night night time? You need to go night night, take nap. <laughs> Ouch. Um. Ah. Can you go? So I, oh, you almost headbutt me in the nose. Um, I am going to put in some laundry, do some dishes, pick some stuff up. Fingers are crossed that I'm able to do any of those things. And then I am going to do my makeup and film some videos. Hopefully, we will see if that happens. All right, so Kira just went down for a nap with my husband. Um, he got up and then immediately went back to bed. And Ari is just barely starting to stir a little bit, but she's only been asleep like 15 minutes, so I think she will fall back asleep. 
So I'm really going to take this time to get some things done. Sorry, there's something really interesting on the TV. It's showing like how they do screen printing or silk screening for like t-shirts and stuff. It's really interesting. Gotta love PBS. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, get my cleaning stuff done, do my makeup, and hopefully they will sleep long enough for me to film some videos and then we can go get some lunch. Maybe go to PetSmart. I don't know, I ran it by husband. He seemed kind of weirded out by it, but probably because both of us have like bleeding hearts for animals and if we see a puppy or something like that, we'll probably like fall in love and want to bring him home. So, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do some of that stuff. I might, I'm going to put some pants on, but because it's really cold. I don't know why my husband keeps it so cold in here. But once I start moving, I'll like start sweating, so. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm probably going to do like a mini time lapse <laughs> of me cleaning, trying to get stuff done, and whatnot, so. Let's do it, I guess. Well, as you guys can see, Kira did not nap. I barely got to clean. So, we're eating a little lunch. And then I'll try to put her down again. start the process all over again. <laughs> You're so funny. First impressions of the Just Peachy. Mm -hmm. 
schön. So yummy. All right. One thirty and nap time. Take two. All right, so it is 4.30. Kira is up from her nap. I filmed both of my videos. I'm kind of looking kind of cute. Just waiting for my clothes to get out of the dryer. And then we are going to go head down to PetSmart. And then maybe go to like Paradise Bakery or something because my husband does not want Chipotle anymore. Um, but I am, in the meantime, going to get the girls ready and you know make them look cute and everything for an out and about yep so i will go ahead and do some time lapse on that Alright, it's 6 o'clock. We're on our way to PetSmart right now. And then we might grab something to eat, stop by Target so I can get some diapers for Kira because we seem to be pretty much out at this point. The hat that my husband is wearing says make piercing great again. So it's kind of a jab at Trump. No offense if you're a Trump supporter. And, uh, yeah. So, Kira stopped making noise, so she probably fell asleep because she was definitely grumpy. I think it's over there. Pop, pop. 
pet him? Say hi. Just like I thought, we're talking about adopting one of these cats. <laughs> they are so cute. They have so many cute ones right now. Say wow. Wow. <laughs> Yay. Whoa. Kira, look. Was that fun? Yay. All right, well, we decided to go to IHOP, even though Rob says he's not going to eat anything and he's being a big butthead on his health kick. He's not gonna indulge with me. But Kira likes IHOP. I like IHOP. What are you doing? Woo! We did not get a cat. Very closely happened though. You want num nums? Uh oh. Red. Num num. Here's my handsome husband. Can you show her how to unzip it? <laughs> She's like, oh. So many All going cross-eyed. She is a sleepy baby. Good thing it's a getting close to bedtime. We're gonna go to bed as soon as we get home. Oh, run away, crayons! Yeah. Nummy, nummy. Trying to slow down there. Are you dancing? <laughs> By the way, if anyone was going to comment on it, this is only loose because we're in the restaurant. It will tighten up before we go driving. You know I like waking up next to you every day. stuff. Mostly other stuff. Because <laughs> we don't sleep in the same bed. 
Way. Happy feet. Happy feet. Happy feet. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl. Hey. Blue, we have blue, feta perhaps. cheese. It's probably bad. No, it's not. I asked my mom. She said that it lasts for like ever. Is your, is your mom a cheese expert? Yes. Is she a, a, She's a connoisseur a brie, of cheeses. A, a brie. I don't know what cheese expert's called. I don't, I don't either. Seven forty-five. Fifteen minutes till bedtime. They're probably both going to be asleep by the time we get home because we live 10 to 15 minutes away from IHOP. And they're both grumpy. And we didn't get a cat. Yeah, we didn't get a cat because I had to be the voice of reason. Maybe someday, or maybe a dog. So I will do a time lapse of me getting the girls ready for bed, and I'll sign out when uh, when that's all through. Once they're asleep, I will watch movies with Rob. So that is our day in life today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. He's sucking on your lip. <laughs> Don't poke her. <coughs> Working hard to help his team, Crane Truck raises one last beam. Reaching, stretching, lifting high, he swings the beam into the sky. He'll set it down right on its mark, then off to bed, it's almost dark. He slowly folds his boom back in, and then with one last sleepy grin, he tucks himself in nice and tight, then cuddles up and says goodnight. Good night, crane truck. Good night.